Hey everyone, my name is Stefan Kraus from byte to bytes the World Creator Team. And in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the next shape layer uh, style, which is the uh, procedural layer. And um, yes, please be aware, it's still early access, um, which means this uh, version is still under uh, development. It will be available until mid-August uh, 2023. And, uh, but you already can access it after your purchase um, and play with it just as I do it right now. Okay, let's get started by creating a procedural layer. Procedural layers are actually nothing else but internal small generators. It's like having a small world creator version inside world creator. And those are used to create procedural specific terrain styles, such as a volcano, for example, which you can select here, or for a cliff, crater, and so on. But before we continue, I'm going to add again my favorite filters. So we have some nice things set up here for visualization reasons. Okay, so we have, for example, that volcano, which we again just use like the stems, but they are procedural stems, which means they are generated internally. We can scale them, we can rotate them, we can stretch them to whatever direction. And we can, of course, also blend them with the underlying terrain. So they fit a little bit better and doesn't look too edgy. Um, beside a volcano, of course, we have also cliffs, which would look better if you do it like this, stretching it over the entire terrain. So here we can see how that cliff would look like. Um, of course, we can change the seed and that would fit pretty good. We can also scale it a little bit up if, it, if the borders doesn't really fit and we have some uh, sort of clift terrains. So that's really cool if you're doing if you're doing an ocean or whatever you can think of where cliffs might make a good uh, sense. You could also reduce the blend size here then we have an even better good looking nice cliff. Um, we also have a crater which you can, of course, scale, make it fit to the terrain. Um, and all these settings that I'm doing here, they also have these further options that you can use to modify the crater or the cliffs or the volcano. And yeah, last but not least here is the, here's a single crack that can also be added, um, hit fit to terrain. So um, really nice, nice stuff here which you can use to create different style of terrains. Um, of course, everything else just acts as, uh, uh, as intended. So if you want to sculpt, then you can use this as a base terrain and sculpt on it. You can use filters, you can use materials. You can, you can use whatever you want to get things running and to color this sort of terrain. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and look out for the next video which is about the map tiler layer. Thanks for watching, bye bye.